Hey y'all, what's up? There's a lot of energy going on in our planet and our realm right now. Y'all ain't seen shit yet. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. See all the leaves off the trees? We told you these beings do this every calendar year around this time and they make it rain and there's chemicals in the rain that uh, causes the leaves chemicals and whatever they put in there you causes the leaves to um to die on the tree all right because their whole objective is to lessen the amount of oxygen why because the real temperatures around this so-called calendar time is extremely high all right which is why they want to make it snow all the time we're bringing this shit to an end all right, brothers and sisters, it's so important. We're turning into science. All right. We're turning into science. They want us to run around and laugh and holler. We got to get busy. All right. We got to get busy. We got a whole fucking enemy that we've got to deal with. We got a whole enemy that we've got to answer their attacks. All right. They have attacked us over and over and over. One thing I, I shared on my TikTok about aeronautics how we literally got to get into aeronautics you know how do you create a, a vessel that flies you know turbine uh, talking about uh, turbine information turbine technology you know uh, starting to get into missile technology getting into uh, we talked about laser technology we're talking about all these different technologies that we're supposed that we are supposed to be getting into so that we can bring ourselves back into the place of absolute power. All right. The whole thing of he who rules the sky or he who rules the sky rules the world. We're bringing that shit to an end, y'all. All right. We got to build. We got to get back into science. All right. And I know a lot of us have are, are, are having issues sometimes trying to figure out how to study and how to do because we've been taught that the only way that you can study is to go to school you gotta have a teacher to tell you what and what not to do you understand that we have the ancestors with us that are our teachers all right we have the ancestors that are our teachers we have the ancestors who can impart so many levels of knowledge to us, all right? And that's what the ancestors are your teachers, all right? You don't go to ancestors to get power. They don't get, they'll teach you how to get power, all right? They'll teach you how to tap into that power. You just got to talk to them, all right? And that's when that, uh, you go into that necromancy. Necromancy is a part of our, um, it's a part of, our heritage it's part of our bloodline necromancy where we when they talk about talking to the dead yeah this is us the original being this is us deep into necromancy that's why we go to the ancestors the ancestors can give us a lot of information and you don't have to have sacrifices or anything you don't have to kill a chicken or kill a cat or a dog and all that stuff blood sacrifices no it's all about using the herbs spices all right Using the mudras, using the mantras, all right? In your state of meditation, you know, using different types of candles and, and you know, other uh, natural elements to help you to tap into this uh, e e eternal, internal energy. And you'll learn so much, all right? You get so many freaking downloads. Only problem is that we have is the whole situation of the money, all right? When we did have access to everything here on our planet, we got this Moorish thing that they want to uh, control the very essence of our beings and they want to control um, the things we get and they're watching everything. They're watching everything to make sure we can get certain things we won't get just like I told you about that brother that I know and 
he had a certain amount of money and he was gonna he was gonna strike it big on gold all right he had he already had plans of what he was gonna do with the gold all right and as soon as he went to go purchase this gold because he had he had a he had a few thousands a few thousands thousands with an s he had a few thousands and as soon as he went to go purchase the gold they knew it was him they watch everything and they changed the price of the gold all right they changed the price of the gold and he was unable to purchase the gold they made it so freaking high that he couldn't afford it all right so they're watching everything that we're doing they know they know they don't mind us getting copper we get all the copper in the world all right but there's something about gold and us that has a unique connection all right something about gold and us that has a unique connection and you know all the things that they have done well since we have come into this awakened state and everything is being exposed well, what happens, to, what happens after the exposure? We told you. The year 2024, the year of death and destruction. Right? Right? And the system is being destroyed. And this, everything is dying. The entire system, the people who are controlling the system are dying. But 2025 is the year of total annihilation. All right? <laughs> you think you're seeing something now? You ain't seen shit yet. All right. As we come into the closure of the gates of Inferno, we will be entering the gates of Leo. And in these gates are extremely high frequencies and extremely high vibrations. They're high vibrational energies, high frequencies. All right. When you start dealing with frequencies and vibrations, that's the same thing as dealing with um, uh, particles, energy particles. You're talking about atoms and electrons and neutrons and protons that actually create the atom, you know, perpetual motion. It's, you know, you, you, you're talking about a, um, a lot of different uh, levels of science velocity and all this other stuff you know you, you're talking about massive levels of science and it's important brothers that you understand that in order to obtain high levels of power you must be able to put yourself into that position of obtaining and you got to begin studying you got to begin understanding all right. So 2025 is a year of just total annihilation. All right. And like I said, frequencies and vibrations are rising. We're in the gates of Inferno. As a timekeeper, I can tell you this right here. We're in the gates of Inferno right now. And they th these beings are watching and they realize that, you know, something's going on. Something's going on. We can't stop it. All right. And you talking about a jump, a, 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 a spike in the um, Schumann resonance, which is the which is our, early, our planet's frequency, which that frequency comes from the moon. All right, Schumann resonance is nothing but a lunar flare. All right, so when the moon spikes in frequency, because the moon is connected directly to the planet, the planet spikes in frequency as well. All right, and who controls that? The original beings. All right, we control this. We're the ones who who literally control the the, the entire aspect of the lives that we live. We can we literally control the entire planet, and this is why they wanted us to think in the old days that uh, they have control over the uh, the planet when. They really don't have control of the planet. They don't have it, all right? So it's important that we, as original beings, pull ourselves into uh, the motion of energy, all right? 
the motion of energy, uh, pull ourselves into the motion of vibrations, frequencies. All right. Understand that science is the only way that we're going to return to this absolute power. All right. You start going back into chemistry. You start going back. You start studying physics, real physics, ancient physics. All right. So understanding alchemy. All right. You're getting back into to 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 uh, different areas. I mean, when you talk about science, you you got to go welding is a part of science. All right. Forging is part of science. Being a blacksmith, that's that's a part of science. You're dealing with fire. You're dealing with the fire uh, uh, elements or the fire or you say the force of fire, but you're dealing with the fire element. All right. Um, so we got to see that we have a duty to return to power, the return of the Christ. All right. The Christ is not an individual that's coming out of the sky. The Christ is a people, the original beings. We are the Christ. All right. And we said we want this thing to come to an end. And guess what? We're bringing it to an end. No matter who's asleep, who's awakened. At one point, uh, I know that many of us were concerned about the sleepers and the well, if this happened, then what about those who are sleeping? What about those who are not at where we at? Don't we not? And we got to the point now where we're not even worried about them no more. All right, we're not even concerned about them because us cons being a concern uh, concerning what's going on with the sleepers. Well. <laughs> We kind of like cause ourselves to fall back a little bit. So it's important that we, as original beings, bring ourselves back into the state of the absolute, where we are coming into the full force of the power of nature, the cosmos. All right. And when you say nature, you talk about everything that deals with nature. All right. And the cosmos is literally nothing but nature herself in the form of spatial energy called space, all right? So nature comes in so many different forms, all right? So we're understanding this right here. It's important that we, as original beings, all right, understand how we're supposed to operate, what we're supposed to do, all right? So yes, we're seeing everything that's happening right now. And our awakening is coming greater and greater. Brothers and sisters, create the orgones, create your necklaces, your chains. Uh, if you can, purchase yourself um, a smelt where you can begin melting different things together. And then you, after you get the, the, the smelt, you have a forge. And then with the forge, you can, you can uh, take those things that you melted and and, and 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 formed together you can take that forge and you heat them up and you make it you can make them into the shape that you want it to be all right see that's part of science that's 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 another part of science all right understanding the different forms of science is extremely important because we carry ourselves into a higher power all right within ourselves the higher we uh, become mentally the more inclined we become to real science the more inclined we become to real science well we become a problem for the system but it doesn't matter because it doesn't supposed to be alright right now you can't even see the sun over there because they got the sky all covered up we got to get up there in that sky we're going to get there alright we're going to get there we're going to destroy this entire system. Nobody's coming out of the sky to help us out. All right? Ain't nobody coming to save us. <laughs> Ain't nobody jumping off a ship to save us. We're going to save ourselves. Okay? So you must understand that the societal structure is all about deception. All right? They want to deceive you to make you think that you're weak and feeble. They need you to think that you are not able to get into that power state. All right. 
This is why they're pushing this whole presidential thing. They're pushing all this artificial intelligence thing because they need the original beings to think that we are dumb and feeble. Artificial intelligence was started by us long ago. We had a different type of artificial intelligence. All right. Now they got AI robots that can have sex with women. AI robots can have sex with men. I mean, they have they 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 trying to use artificial intelligence to uh, control our minds. And you have to remember, it's a lot that they learned from us. It's a shitload that they learned from us. All right, artificial intelligence is all over the cosmos. Just like we say, there's 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 a whole universe. There's a whole universe of AI and they're they building and building and, and and literally what do you think the artificial intelligence here just like in Japan all right I'm kind of going off subject but the artificial intelligence and in, uh, the AI robots in Japan a few years ago when those Japanese soldiers I mean I'm sorry those Japanese scientists were killed by the AI and they had the soldiers, uh, the government had the soldiers to go dismantle all those robots. And one of the robots went deep into the internet. And you have to remember, I want you to remember one thing. The internet is literally space itself. It's that ultimate energy that allows us to communicate on the highest level, all right? That's the internet. So what did the artificial intelligence do? It taps into the internet. And more than likely, that radio frequency, because the, the internet is ran by radio frequencies, all right? We know this. Internet is ran by radio frequencies, all right? Radio frequencies flowing all the time in the air, all right? Where do you think our electricity comes from? Radio frequencies. All right, <laughs> we had those tall towers and, and those rods that went all the way 20, 30, 40 feet in the air. And they say, you're getting uh, electricity from the air. Those are radio frequencies. That's all it is. What's inside of radio frequencies? Electrons. Multiple trillions and trillions of electron particles just flowing through the air. All right, <laughs> trillions of electron particles flowing through the air yeah electricity is free we got to pay for it but they they got us thinking that we need to pay for this stuff but that's all right we're going to do away with this stuff right here the deeper you come into science the more well versed you become in the area of creating all right your creativity the, your proportion of creativity will expand but it's an individual thing each one of us. I mean, I can, I can, I can do some science lessons on here. Believe me, brothers and sisters, I can do some science lessons on here, and they will literally blow your mind. All right, I know a lot. Like I say, I don't know everything, but I sure the hell know a lot. I can give you some science lessons to blow your mind. Be like, wow, you know, wow. Hold on here, hold on. Yeah, because I, you know, like I said, I can, I can give some mind blowers. So. It's important that we gather ourselves together as the original beings and begin understanding the higher levels of energy that we can obtain. All right. And we're showing this every time one of you go deep into studying science, something happens. Our sun sends energy, solar flares. Solar flares that and these solar flares literally um, are designed to to um, to feed our bodies. All right. These solar flares are designed to feed our bodies and to impart cosmic information into our vessels. So every time a solar flare hits, we get fed. All right. So when they talked about the 
that event, the Carrington event in 1857, you have to remember that brothers and sisters were at a point of creating some of the highest forms of technology. And this is why they had to go to war against us. We talked about this before. This time we're ready. They didn't have the internet then. Or they did have the internet, but it wasn't what well, they didn't use it as lucrative because the internet has always been around. We just forgot how to use it. All right. After that war took place and we won the war, but then they placed that spell over us because we're going to kill the rest of them off. They placed that spell over us. All of a sudden we started caring when we had no care. All right. So the key in this is bringing ourselves into a higher proportion of thought, the thought process. You have to remember that your thinking is literally frequencies. Keep that in mind. Your thinking is frequencies. And every time you think on a higher level, you generate frequencies around you. Therefore, the solar, the lunar, the, 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 the air, the water, the, uh, the energy, the magnetism, all responds to what you do as the original people. It's not the Africans. They're not original. All right. That's why they, they wanted us to think that we were, we were from Africa. Oh, come to the motherland. Nah, motherfuckers. We, we are on our motherland. Now we using our motherland to our advantage. We're understanding the trees and the, and the water and everything. Because we got to come into the protection of our planet. All right. And the more intellectual you become, the more powerful your body becomes. Therefore, you, you begin to do things with your body and you will no longer need the products of technology. All right. Technology is is literally the beginning point of taking you to that ultimate point of the God body. All right. I'll tell you again, technology is literally the beginning point that takes you to that ultimate point of the God body, where therefore your magnetic fields are so powerful. All right. Your magnetic fields become equal to nature's magnetic fields. Therefore, you can lift off the ground. All right. But it's all thought. All right. You got to remember it. Everything is thought. Everything that you're dealing with is thought. What you think makes the difference in everything dealing with you, dealing with our planet, dealing with the nature around us. All right? Your thoughts. Here's fourth. They want us to think about Project 2025. They want us to think about Trump and and they want us to think about all the, they're, they see, they, 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 they're, they're trying to flood us. They're trying to flood us with all kinds of different things, especially this whole so-called immigration thing and, and having all these Mongolians and Moors come here to our land. All right. They need us to think on a lower level. We must think on a higher level. We must remain to be high, extremely high beings. How can I create this? How can I create this? What makes this work? What makes that work? How does this operate? How does that operate? You understand? Just like we talked about water. When you start understanding what water really is, you start understanding how water operates because water is metallic in nature. Water is literally liquid metal. All right? Water is metallic in nature. And water can literally be controlled by extremely high magnetism. That's why when the moon holds the water back, because the moon is literally magnetic force. All right? You saw the movie Moonfall? What happened in Moonfall? The moon got so close to the planet, it began breaking it up because when the magnetic fields become so extremely high, all right, um, the planet, our planet, magnetism and the moon magnetism are not quite equal, but the moon magnetism is more powerful than the planet's magnetism. So the moon magnetism can, if, it, if the moon was to get that close to the planet, 
as in that movie, well, things will happen and the ground will begin to break up. All right. Those who are not original will not be able to breathe because what happened? Because the magnetic field has shifted. The gases change on the planet. All right. And when you're talking about magnetic field shifting, you're talking about the frequencies changing because the, 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 the frequencies are literally controlled by magnetic fields. All right. So we start to get into the science behind it all. And you start understanding how things operate. Volcanoes will be off the rocker. Why? Because that's plasma. And that plasma began to evolve because the moon got closer. And what happened? The moon would have shifted the frequency of the planet to a much higher frequency. Mankind would not be able to survive. And they were telling you the movie Moonfall because it's written in the scrolls that the moon is going to get so close to the planet that mankind would not be able to survive 2025, the year of total annihilation. For mankind will not be able to operate the way they operate now. This is why they're trying to set things in motion. All right. They're scared. They're very afraid of us. You see how those Africans look at us? I'm at Home Depot and in, in, in the store in Myers. And I'm seeing the Africans and they're looking at me. And when they see my face and they look at my eyes, they I see fear. Look at me, I see fear in the eyes. They look at me. And it's like a, it's like something, it's a, a, a look that you've never seen before. All right. This is all about the upbringing of who we are and the power that the real power that we possess. We've got to change everything, brothers and sisters. We literally got to change everything. It's our duty to bring this planet, our realm, into balance. You got to go back into science. You got to go deep into it. You got to study. You might get weary. You might get kind of tired. All right. And the reason why you're getting tired is because there's energy. You can. You can. There's when you start to gain knowledge. All right, and you're reading, and your body starts to get sleepy. What's happening is, what's happening is your body is starting to retain this energy because knowledge is power. So your body is now retaining this power, and it needs to reset because you're doing all this reading. So you're starting to figure out this and that. So now you have to, your body has to reset. Just like we talked about this morning with that, uh, um, what was I talking about? oh yeah, the, the meditation, the deep breath meditation, and you're using the different, uh, mudras with the deep breath, deep breath meditation. It seems like AC say, Hey, you know, every now and then you got to yawn because your body goes into a reset period. So you had to remember that we're organic machines. All right. Artificial intelligence will not replace us. All right. This is a promise to us all. Artificial intelligence will not replace us. But they know what's going to happen with the moon. They know what's going to happen with the sun. That's the whole part of that movie, knowing. It, the one part of the movie, knowing, where the energy from the sun was so freaking high that it was literally causing mankind. Because all the people in that movie that were being affected were... <laughs> whites and Mongolians they were being directly affected by it alright so they showed you in the movie Knowing the sun is the, the, the sun the sun is going to send a blast and you got to remember these, these solar flares are nothing but frequencies I want you to remember that these solar flares are literally frequencies alright and when that blast comes from the sun, that frequency comes from the sun. And you got it, and, 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 and it's a multiple flares at the same time, multiple frequencies at the same time. It's literally causing their bodies to disintegrate. And then the moon, what is the moon based upon? The moon is based upon frequencies. Look at the moon itself. It's pure plasma. It works directly with the sun. All right? It works directly with the sun. And it's pure plasma. And the moon 
creates what? Frequencies. So both the sun and the moon. You have solar frequencies, you have lunar frequencies. Solar frequencies are masculine energy. Lunar frequencies is feminine energy. All right? So you understand. So the more, the deeper we go back into where we're supposed to be, the more this shit falls. And I'm encouraging you all to study. All right? I'm literally, I'm encouraging you all to study. All right? I'm going to be giving more science so that we can understand things on a greater scale. All right? All this other shit, you know, you got the Badeo talking this garbage. You got Isis Wisdom talking garbage. You got uh, uh, Black Magic 363. I don't know what the fuck he, his, his people be talking about. You got freaking Rod Hayes. I don't know what his ass is on. Seriously. Brothers and sisters, we got to get back to science. All right? Ain't no petitions. Ain't no stuff. We ain't, we ain't nobody coming out the sky. You know? We got to get back to science. Because science is the only thing that's going to carry us back into this place of power. Remember, it's all mental. All right? I'll catch you guys later. All power to the multi chakra, celestial angelic beings. May cast ring with you forever and ever and ever. Remember, cast is everything, brothers and sisters. Much about you all.